Everyone, we're here talking about Wikisite, a uh, proposed Wikimedia sibling project. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to Wikisite. I'm going to introduce the concept of a sibling project. Thank you so much. My name is Lane Raspberry. I do Wikipedia in beautiful Charlottesville, Virginia, in the Blue Ridge Mountains as a school of data science. Uh, what we're going to talk about, here's the agenda. I'm going to go, go through these three sections to this talk. Why should you care? Like, why, why is anybody in this room? Why should anyone like, care about Wikisite? Um, I'm, I'm also bringing in, in, you into this room because something went wrong. There's a problem. We're, we're going to talk about that problem. And I'm going to ask you for a particular kind of help. You can help significantly in, in five minutes. I've, I've got a route by means of which uh, we can get significant movement, consensus, community organization from something that you do uh, today. Uh, so why should you care? We can solve it, it solved everything. I've been so in, invested in this. There, there's a few hundred of us uh, highly engaged in this, 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 this project to collect citations. Uh, and it's such a game changer for science because if you can't find what's published, if you can't find the access to knowledge, then how do you plan your research? How do you plan the next course of action? And it's mind blowing that in this day and age, we haven't quite solved library science. I can't tell you we're gonna solve it all, but it, this is an essential part of it. it it's science, it's funding, it's everything. Uh, I'm gonna drop some terms uh, over and over again. So this is to orient any of you who may not be familiar with Wiki stuff or, or what's happening. Uh, Wiki data is a bucket. You put uh, general reference data in it, but Wikipedia is this bucket for, for prose, human rights, text, and sentences. Uh, Wiki data is the same kind of information, but whereas humans read Wikipedia, machines can read Wiki data, data platform. Wiki site is, so Wiki, Wiki data is all kinds of platform biographies and cities and everything that you, you know in Wikipedia. Wiki site is just that content in Wikidata that is citations, meaning like the sources, the references in Wikipedia. So the title of the paper, the author who wrote it, where do you where do you find the source? So Wiki Wiki site is just a data collection that's poured into the bucket of, of Wikidata. And Scolia, this is a toy that I, I work with uh, with others. It's a tool that um, automatically does all the queries so that you can easily pull the Wiki site content out of Wikidata, uh, makes it very human accessible. Some other concepts that are going to come up, I'm going to say this term, scholarly profile. It's a summary of, of sources, a summary of, 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 of knowledge that you need about a topic to orient yourself based on the sources. I'm going to give some examples, but scholarly profile. Uh, reliability indicator. The reason why, why you might want this is familiar to Wikipedia and fact checking. Uh, gives rigor to whatever you're saying. You can follow a claim to a citation, verify fact checking. Uh, it's a measurement of credibility. So this comes up also. Okay, scholarly profile. Uh, perhaps you're familiar with the most popular scholarly profiling service. It's not necessarily the best, but it's not fun, but Google Scholar. So if you put a topic into Google Scholar, it will list a series of, of research papers, scholarly papers on that topic. You can also put the name of a person and you get their, their bibliography, their list of publications. This is also a scholarly profile. So I've shown you a scholarly profile of a topic and, and one of a person. Uh, so Wikisite, it takes a scholarly profiling concept and it achieves three miracles. And this, this happens right now. Like this is something that's been going on for five, five plus years. We, we've been able to actually do this with the software. I, I'd like to encompass all of the knowledge, but for a lot of knowledge, you can get these three miracles. So miracles of scholarly profiling. We solve the problem, the challenge of having appropriate bibliographies for Wikipedia articles. And the, the, the concept of a citation database to know and give credit to people whose work we're citing in Wikipedia and to know, be able to fact check Wikipedia with machines at scale. I'm not talking about replacing the humanity of Wikipedia, but just running bots that in some automated way can grade the quality or reliability of, of Wikipedia articles. You can achieve this. So scholarly profiling, let's, let's look more at that. Uh, I'm going to give examples. So this is from the Scolia tool. Scolia is the, the wiki platform tool that pulls wiki site data out of the wiki data database, presents it in a nice way. So here's the scholarly profile for a person. I showed you one for Google Scholar. You type the name of a person in Google Scholar and they give you their publications. This gives you a, a bit more information. Um, it, it, wiki wiki uh, site, wiki data, Scolia, they have a different perspective. So you get the person you get the list of the topics on which they publish. And you can find out what is their major field of study, what is their minor field of study, list of co-authors, like who does this person routinely work with? What, what is their network? What, what are their institutions? What journals do they publish in? 
uh, you can navigate this in different ways. But it's a more rich profile of a person. Once you have this kind of data in Wikidata, once you have the wiki site collection in, in Wikidata, you can also uh, get lists of people. Suppose you have all the people at a university and you know all their papers, then you can profile what kind of research comes out of a university. What's special about this university as compared to this university? Does this university have a specialty? And if you're looking to collaborate with somebody in that research, you, you can know this one. Like, if, if, if I named 100 universities, how much really could you do to differentiate them? How, how is a person supposed to know what is the specialty at one institute versus another? You need an automated profiling service. So one of the miracles of profiling, you profile institutes. If you can profile institutes, if you can profile people, if you know what kind of topics they're, they're researching, forget people, forget institutes, you can start at the topic level. You put in the name of a topic into a profiling service, service you can find out what institutes are re researching that topic, who are the experts in the field, if you're citing in Wikipedia or otherwise, and also, if people are researching one topic, what are the other topics that they're researching? Like, for example, if someone's uh, researching a medical topic, maybe you wouldn't realize that uh, for this particular medical issue, it's also an economics issue and there's a lot of economics papers. So you start to, you start to match topics with disparate fields that even experts in the field might not know are connected, but if you have this kind of profiling service, you can start you can start just churning this out, getting so many insights that no human would ever be able to detect because it's so much data to process. So scholarly profiling, I'm a big proponent of it. It's just, just amazing. Uh, part of the future, uh, you can find all knowledge on a topic. You can identify experts on a topic, connect the topic to related topics. The second miracle, Wikipedia bibliographies. So I, I told you what you can do with profiling. Just imagine combining this with Wikipedia. For any given biography of a scientist in Wikipedia. Our current practice is that we have a, a section called Selected Publications. Right now, this is human curated. And for this ANOVA Prize winning scientist, people have, have selected some good papers for this person. But what if you're not familiar with the scientist and you want to find out what is their most cited paper, what's their most significant paper? They have 100 papers. Right now, Wikipedia is like arbitrary choices, sometimes unlimited information about what papers, what representative papers to put here. If we had profiling services connected with Wikipedia, then we have a, a, a reproducible way to select the papers that we present in Wikipedia articles that best represent a particular researcher. Uh, we can also do this on a, a publisher, like for example, uh, my university, University of Virginia. We could say, here's this university. Uh, we know that here's the people who are there. Here's the papers that they publish on. Here's the topics of papers that are very popular or that are cited a lot, or you can even, since this is automated, you can run it in different ways. Like what are the papers at the university that have gotten the most grant funding? Or you could say, what is the paper in a particular department? Uh, if, if we could somehow connect Wikipedia to Wikidata, you could go to the, 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 the article on a university and run so many mini queries to just get more insight into what kind of research is happening in that place. And then the big one, like forget people, forget the institutions. How are we ever going to do literature review for every single topic in Wikipedia, make it reproducible, and be sure that we haven't missed any sources? If we don't connect the citation graph, if we don't have an automated way to have someone check everything that's ever been published and then make sure it's appropriately uh, represented in Wikipedia, it's so hard to look at a reference section that's got 50 or 100 sources in Wikipedia and know, did we get the most important ones? What, what are we missing? Like, how do, we, how do we check this out and make sure that we're properly fact-checking, giving rigor, demonstrate to people that, that Wikipedia is reliable and it, it surveyed the literature that exists? We can't do that right now. It's a miracle of scholarly profiling. Uh, third miracle, citation database. This has been discussed so many times. If you're a Wikipedia editor, you, you might know this, this conversation has been going on for about 15 years. Uh, the, the situation is that in Wikipedia, it's prose. Humans with their with their fingers, they're, they're typing things. This is what they're doing. And they type out citations. And they they talk about citation format. And wouldn't it be nice if we could just take all this prose that's typed with, with human fingers and have an identifier in Wikipedia that just generates the citations? Okay, some of some of the things you could do if, if we could do that is we could uh, more easily translate. You know, humans translate the citations in Wikipedia, like when they go from one language to another. Some humans have to translate the format of citations because we keep our citations in prose. This is so silly. Like, this is Nature Magazine, highly reputable uh, a scholarly journal, Wired Magazine's tech publication, and their son that um, 
someone ran a query to find out what are the most cited papers in Wikipedia. And this was like 20 years after Wikipedia existed. We don't have an easy way to know what papers are cited in Wikipedia because it's all prose and there's not an easy way to search it. We don't keep our citations in a database. And if we had a database, we would be able to do fact checking. We would make sure that the most uh, essential papers are being cited. We'd be able to give credit to institutions, uh, journals that are, are highly cited. So uh, most of it often to Wikipedia had no idea. Wouldn't it be nice if we could give people a little credit if we're if we're sharing their knowledge through Wikipedia? Uh, it connects so many ways. These, these poor downtrodden researchers who, uh, who, who need some, some demonstration for tenure, uh, Wikipedia could become part of that. They could get credit for actually sharing their knowledge in the open uh, if, if their stuff is getting cited. Here's what our citations look like, not for humans to read, yet human eyeballs fall on this uh, at, at grand scale in Wikipedia. Uh, there's, a, there's a proposal on the table. You could read this proposal. Mike Leiser in the conference program. I'm, I'm going quickly. So this is recorded. Mike Leiser there. Every picture that you're seeing in these slides, these are clickable. They, they go to something. So that if, if you want to read like a thousand pages of text, you can start clicking around in my slides. But this is this is a proposal, like how much would it cost? What would the process by means of which we do this to convert the prose citations in Wikipedia to a citation database? That's the, the third miracle of scholarly profiling. Uh, scholarly, the, 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 the profiles themselves, filling it out with biographies for, for rigor and credibility. Uh, moving Wikipedia's content to a, a citation database. So benefits uh, greatly aids translation. Uh, partnerships uh, give people credit when we're using their content. That's what anybody wants. Um, you know, put put our content demonstrate that you're achieving a communication impact. They're they're putting their stuff out in the world, and and people are actually using it. Quality control um, starting starting to do some kind of fact checking, making sure we're we're citing the right sources. Okay. <laughs> you don't get it for free. Uh, you don't you don't get it for free. So that's this this is um this is why we haven't done it already. This is not unachievable. Like, but it's uh we have to discuss the the cost. We have to come up with a strategy. There's there's multiple ways we could get to this, but um some some money has to be put on the table. Uh, maybe we need some some partnerships. Uh, okay. So why 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 have we started asking for money and like looking for for what's happening? Wikisite broke Wikidata. Um, I, I didn't, but like. It's, something's broken, something, something went wrong. Uh, that's the state of the art. So here, here was always the dream. We have uh, Wikipedia over here that's got all these like claims and their fact checks and we by and by convert the pros of Wikipedia to uh, structured data in Wikidata. And like, there's all this information and it goes out into the internet. That's a link open data cloud over there. So we're circulating data between Wikipedia and, and the rest of the open internet. And then we can, we can profile it. We can do some fact checking, generate these kind of profiles to say like, Who's being cited in in this this topic? Uh, what what what's being covered? There's other people doing this, so there are commercial services. Wikisite Scholia is not the first one to do it. I showed you Google Scholar, which is free and very easy to access online. There's um, some some commercial services. Elsevier Scopus, like Boo Elsevier, they charge so much money to access that. Uh, Clarivate Analytics Web of Science, it's like another commercial service. Yes. Um, Semant Semantic Scholar, it's a, it's a nonprofit project which has many open aspects. It's not completely open, but it's it's pretty cool that someone else has put some money out there. Open Alex, um, that's that's a nice project as well. Th there's characteristics that we want. We, we, we want wiki values. Like I, I listed some wiki values here, but we want wiki values in these things. And what are the lim limitations of these? Uh, no open data. They, these are user generated content platforms. We talked about Wikipedia, anyone can edit. Actually, anyone can edit these. And actually, there's a lot of platforms where anyone can edit. It's just that when anyone edits any of these platforms, they take the data and they sell it to someone else. So it's like um, anyone can edit um, these platforms, but um, I mean, you become the product for, for what you contribute. My university, we spend, we, we subscribe to Web of Science. We pay for a certain number of subscriptions to that. My university, they, they're a little dodgy about telling me, but buy and buy is this much, this much, it's like $130,000 a year. And I'm really into the citation space, and they don't have a subscription for me. So uh, all this money is being paid, and not everyone who even does this kind of research is able to access a, a subscription to this. Uh, about the, the wiki data breaking, so this is pie chart. Every slice of pie represents the type of content in wiki data. And this, the biggest, largest, tastiest piece of the pie, that's wiki site. OK, so like a third of wiki data. Has always been Wikisite. Like Wikidata's been around for more than 10 years. 
And from the beginning, people started loading the citation data in it. And the biggest piece of wiki data has, has always been wiki size. And that's cool. Like, why not? The, the problem is that um, wiki data is full of content. It can hold 13 billion triples. And there's no more room in the kind of database that we have for wiki data. And so we're having to do, we're, we're experiencing breaking. So this is the timeline of, of, of the use of Scolia. And so when the bar is high, that means someone's using it. And when it's low, that means that there was an outage. So everything's cool from, from 2018. And then here we get to 2023 and there's like no users on so many days because uh, we overloaded the query service. Like we get out of so big, we can't query all these citations. And we're not even done. Like we wanna, we wanna put more information. So if you wanna read a prose narrative of like, what's the timeline of this? I published this article in Wikipedia community newsletter, the, the signpost. You can, you can read this article and this is like uh, a narrative for non-technical people to come to understand some of, some of the issues of why, how Wikidata filled up, why we're gonna split Wikidata in two, two pieces, a wiki site piece and then everything else piece. Uh, and, and what we're, what we're going to do about this. Um, here's some of the other key publications that, that tell this story. Um, behind this, this picture, there's like a 20, 2018 publication, a roadmap. So even before the roadmap was published, like what are we going to do when we get out of full? People had already been talking about the problem for a few years. Like we could see that we could get it was going to get full. And like every one of these papers is like crisis is coming, crisis is coming. What are we going to do when we have so much content in Wikidata that we're not able to, to query it all? So people were, were planning these kind of things. Uh, we're, we're not alone in this, and we're not even alone in this room. We have a special guest speaker from a partner. We got S.A. from uh, Berkman Klein. He's going to give uh, a, a perspective on, on what we can do next. Wayne told me we were wearing tails for the presentation, so I, I put on my black jacket. So even back in 2018, we were talking about potentially having a sister site. I think many people in this room were there when we were trying to hash this out. Uh, I think at this point, we have ruled out having a centralized solution or having a namespace on Wikidata, uh, which leaves us with uh, a sister site for basically the status quo, which is a federation of silos. And what we've seen is people are moving away from open data towards closed providers, paying a lot of money for them because they need a centralized service. Uh, so this is where we are. The, the, the citation graph is being split out from Wikidata into um, into its own sub graph. But if we if we imagine that that becomes part of a future wiki site, projects like Scalio will be querying from main wiki data and wiki sites to compile its its visualizations. Uh, sorry, I have to go in the right direction. And and we we already know that just splitting out the graph is not is not a solution for wiki data long term to scale wiki data. We need a new database. But at least this saves two years of, of current growth. So we can imagine for a future wiki site, there would be better database options. Uh, and there's, a, there's a, an increase, a very steady increase in supply of open data. All kinds of organizations are setting up their own processes. You have research portals. Uh, sorry. You have, you have research portals like Zenodo, which are international, supported by the EU, the NIH, uh, a network of, of foundations. You have things like SciCrunch Registry. You have a lot of university uh, scholarly repositories funded by their, their local institutions. There's a lot of funding that's federated around the scholarly universe. We just have to make it, uh, we have to make it work for our use case. And there are all kinds of things that we would love to add. We want to add more scholarly publications, researchers, funding sources, research software, clinical trials. Again, for each of these, each of these is basically an open research project for structured data mining, for which there are research groups in labs who are making the data extraction possible. If there is an open place to capture all that data, great, it will build a commons. If there isn't, each of those people ends up publishing a paper, and then maybe they get hired by Clarivate to come and expand their database backends. But it's not because the, the, the innovation in figuring out how to get that data is happening in the open. There just isn't a place to capture it right now. Uh, and again, we're not alone. There are all these organizations already working with us to make this possible. People building new graph databases, people uh, doing all the work that Mark just told you about, compiling essentially 
uh, catalogs of all of the all the citations that are on Wikipedia, and also Open Alex and Internet Archive Scholar compiling a lot of the other metadata. We just need a place where we can build the structured data commons for all of that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a bit more. I might be just telling you what's already sold. You might be buying buy what I'm saying. We only have a couple of minutes. We got a couple of minutes. You started me five minutes late. Yeah. <laughs> lots, lots of universities have already contributed to Wikisite. So we've had we have millions of dollars investment in this. About a thousand people who have been regular contributors, regular, regular contributors, like a thousand edits to Wikisite. Uh lots, lots, lots of interesting content. Uh, we have diversity goals in, in Wikipedia, Wikidata. This achieves it in so many ways, automated at scale. Uh, trust beyond what humans can do, like demonstrable, measurable trust in Wiki, Wiki content. Uh, representing underrepresented uh, topics. Here I've got a profile of something called the Journal of Indian Philosophy, the, the most underfunded field that you can imagine. There's people who will spontaneously come, curate this kind of content, make it highly accessible, measurable, put the content in the Wikipedia articles. You find this with medicine and physics, but only in Wiki, not in Scopus, not in Elsevier, or any of those other places will volunteers spontaneously come for for underrepresented topics, either topical or by region, like university research in Africa. Uh, I'm, I'm, at my university, I told you we're, we're paying, paying this much. Uh, this is a big cookie. It's beyond, beyond just Wikipedia. This is where we're getting into a, a commercial marketplace. If you can think about my university and a thousand others paying $100,000 a, a year, we're talking about a hundred million dollar a year marketplace. So like, there's other people who are making money off this. This could be a Wikimedia product if we ever wanted to commercialize something. And I'm talking about like people in the United States pay, people in the, the lower middle income countries, they get it for free. Like that would be something like Wiki's model. Uh, elsewhere doesn't give a free version, right? So the, the, the commercial players, there, there is no free option. Uh, also, we should be overseeing grants. Like that's the big cookie. Some people talk about the gender gap in Wikipedia. Let me tell you about the gender gap outside of Wikipedia <laughs> in the real world in academia and research. If we had a grants database and we started matching like biographies of women scientists to the grants database and find out like what gender do you need to be to get funded by like um, <laughs> by, by the National Science Foundation or, or Department of Energy, uh, Wikipedia does have a gender gap. We're not the only ones with a gender gap. What you can do right now, uh, sign your support, comment on the on the graph split, play with the, the profiling tools that already exist. I told you uh, this is a proposal to make Wikisite a sibling project. Here's the other sibling project, like Wikimedia Commons, our image repository, uh, Wikidata itself, Wikisource, our, our source archives. Um, so I've got a proposal to make Wikisite start the conversation. Like this isn't, we're not going to flip the switch, but like, can we start the conversation over the next few years to make Wikisite an independent Wikimedia project? Look at this. You take a picture of this thing, and then it takes you to that page. You can get all the information that I presented today. I'm asking you to, to sign sign on your support. Look at this, am I blocking it? Sign on your support, and then you can be part of the newsfeed to get more information, and we, we can just continue the conversation. So that's the big ask for today. If you want to comment on the graph split, again, go to the same page. Like, play, play with Scolia. Peace, love, and wiki. Like, like, check it out. Thank you, everyone.